What are HCOMP and HFEL? So when you're using Cubicle Agda, you want to be able to build new cubes out of old cubes. HCOMP and HFIL, these things will let you do that. But how do they work? What is HCOMP and HFIL? You know? And at least when I was learning uh, some Cubicle Agda, I found HCOMP and HFIL to be pretty mysterious. So I thought it might help just to work through uh, some examples and sort of talk through some of this. Maybe this will help you have a better sense of what these, uh, what these things do. So in these examples here, um, when we think about the circle, about S1, Maybe just to remind ourselves, whoops, uh, about the circle here. I'm just going to write down a function from the circle to the circle. Uh, just so we can remind ourselves how this works. Um, I guess this function can be the, uh, just the identity map. So I'll send the base point in the circle to the base point, And I'll send loop i to loop i. The main reason to write this down uh, is just to give an example of working with S1 with the circle. The base point, uh, base is a uh, term of type S1, and loop is a path from base to base. So maybe we should spell that out. Let me make a synonym here for, uh, for that. So a path, P, from base to base, and I'll just write uh, P of i goes uh, to loop i. All right, so this is, a, this is actually just a synonym for loop. I mean, I could have just written uh, p equals loop here. Uh, p is a path from uh, the base point in the circle to the base point in, in the circle. Uh, maybe just to emphasize that a little bit, I'll put in these, uh, these i's here, right? I, uh, the i here is a term of type capital I. Right, I'm imagining it's a point on the interval, if you like. So P is a path. It's just a synonym for, for loop. I can write down another path Whoops, from the base point to the base point. Uh, I'll write it going the other way. Whoops. Uh, there we go. So, so this uh, Q here will again be uh, a term of type base equals base. So it's a path from base to base. But unlike P, which goes the same way around the circle as loop, Q goes the opposite way. So I've used this uh, tilde here uh, to, reverse the, to reverse the direction. So Q is just P going in the, in the opposite way. Now these are paths. Uh, if you like, you can think of a path as being a, a one-dimensional cube. You know, the interval looks a lot like a one-dimensional cube. We can also build some some squares. So maybe here's here's an example of uh, of a square. I'll build a square where on the uh, left hand side I've got uh, Refl. On the right hand side I've got P. On uh, the bottom I've got Refl, and on the top I've got uh, P. So how would I uh, how would I write down something like this? So here I've got to give uh, two terms, i and j, uh, as, as inputs here. i and j are uh, terms of type big I. So they're together, i and j, if you like, I can think of it as coordinates in my, uh, in my square. And what I'll do is, uh, let's take a look at this. Whoops. OK, so, uh, so what I'm writing down here is that uh, s of i, j is, uh, well, I take the path P, which is a synonym for loop. And here I've got I meet J. So uh, together, what ends up happening here? So zero meet anything is, is zero. And P of zero is just the base point. So that tells me that uh, the, the one side here uh, is, is really ruffle. The, the left-hand side where i equals 0 is just the base point. When j is equal to 0, that's when I'm on the, the bottom edge of this square. And when j is equal to 0, i meet 0 is just 0. So the same thing as p of 0, which is, uh, again, just the base point. So it's just the base point all along that bottom edge. That's, uh, again, refl. But what happens on the other side? Uh, for example, here, when uh, i is equal to 1, uh, 1 meet 
J is just J. So on that side, I've just got P of J, which then just gives me uh, the path P, which is a synonym for loop on uh, the right-hand side. And the same thing happens on the, on the top edge here. So S is a term of type square, REFL P, REFL P, just recording the fact that on the left-hand side and in the bottom, I've got REFL, uh, and on the other sides, I've got uh, P. Now I could make this, you know, play around this a little bit if, if I flipped the direction of J, this no longer uh, type checks, right? But what I'm doing is uh, I'm, I'm flipping the, the direction of J. So what was on uh, the bottom is now uh, on, on the top. But this still doesn't type check because uh, when I flip the uh, J here, the, the right-hand side is now going in the opposite direction, and that is, uh, and that is Q, and that does type check. So this is, uh, I've really written down a term of type square, REFL, Q, P, REFL. Just using the uh, tilde to reverse the direction and meet to find the uh, minimum of these two points on the, on the interval. So that's one way to build a term of type square. There is another way to build a term of type square. And that's, that's really where this, um, this HCOMP and uh, HFIL um, story come about. So let's build, um, maybe before we do this, let's, let's build another path. Um, maybe, maybe this will help. I, I don't know. So I'm going to build a path that I'm going to call P concatenate Q. And I'm going to build this using uh, using using HCOMP. So how how is this going to work? Well, I'm going to build uh, I'm going to sort of set up kind of a framework here, and then I'll fill this in um, in in a bit. And along the bottom here, I'll put whoops um, PI. Okay. So H comp is uh, it's going to take a couple things. It's going to take the bottom of a square in this case. So the bottom would be P, and then it's going to tell me some some information about the the sides of of this square. So I've got the the bottom is P here uh, lambda J, and then here I'll give it uh, sort of a pattern match. Oops. Okay, great. So when i is zero, so remember that i zero just is the is zero in the interval. So when uh, when i is equal to zero, I want that side uh, just to be base. So the the left hand side of uh, the square that I'm building will be will be base. The right hand side of this, well, I want that to be uh, q. So q of uh, J. Okay, and what what does this all mean? So, so H comp is uh, giving me the top edge of a square. The bottom edge of the square is P. That's what goes here. And this partial type, uh, this partial cube, is telling me what happens on the rest. So when I is equal to zero, I just want the base point on the whole side there. So that's the left hand side. And when I is equal to one. That's the right-hand side of the square. I want that to be Q. And then HCOMP uh, provides for me uh, the top of this square. The top is a path from base to base. And that really is what I mean by concatenating P with, with Q. So I'm, I'm calling uh, this term P.Q for P concatenated with, with Q. So HCOMP is taking um, an incomplete uh, square where it's got its bottom, some of its sides, and it's telling me what goes along the the top. Somehow filling in the, the top. Now, if you wanted to, I I could take the same sort of thing and and actually not not just produce the top edge, but produce the the whole square. So this is maybe the the next thing to do. And I think a little bit about what how is this square set up. So on the on the left hand side of this square, I just had um, the base point. So I'll write reflexivity here. On the right hand side of this square, I had Q. So I'll put Q here. 
on the bottom of this square, I had uh, P. And then the, the whole point here of writing down H comp was to give me the, the term on the top of the square. So P uh, dot dot Q. So this is what I'm going to try to write. I'm going to try to write uh, a term of type square, refl Q, P, P dot Q. Uh, and that'll be the filled in square uh, that corresponds to this uh, H comp. So let's write down this and use H fill for this. But otherwise, it's uh, it's going to be pretty similar, right? I mean, I, it's maybe faster just to copy this. Um, I J here instead of H comp, I want H fill. Okay. Um, maybe for not, I don't want to say much about this, I guess, but I'm going to put in S there. Okay. So it's, it's a pretty similar setup. It's just that instead of writing down H comp to get the top edge of, uh, of that square, I'm using H fill to get the filled in, uh, square. But again, the, the left-hand side is just the base point. It's just reflexivity. The right-hand side is Q. The bottom is P. And then the top is the thing that I got from, from H comp. But now I'm actually getting uh, the, the filler. I'm getting the square um, that, that fills that in. So that's uh, maybe kind of interesting because we've got another square up here, S, that looks a little bit like this square. I mean, the bottom of both is REFL. The... Um, right hand side of both is q the left hand side of both or the bottom side rather is p the top is different though the top of filler is p dot q and the top of uh, s is uh refl now if we're thinking about this though from the point of view of uh a homotopy theory uh the path p concatenated with the path q is homotopic to the constant path that just sits at at the base point so we can use uh, the square S and the square filler uh, to show actually that um, that that P and uh, that uh, uh, P concatenated with Q is the um, is the same thing as uh, as as REFL, or more precisely that there's a path from REFL to uh, to P dot Q. So maybe that'll be our our goal. I want to have a path from uh, the constant path, REFL to, uh, to P dot, um, dot Q. So how am I going to um, set this up? Uh, so I'm going to do this in the opposite order. So here I'm, I'm trying to build a path. Uh, it's a path between paths. It's a path from, from REFL, which is a, the constant path, to P concatenated with, with Q, which is also uh, a path. So I'm, I've really got two inputs here. Uh, you know, the, the first input is, if you like, interpolating between these, these paths. And then the second input, I, is telling you sort of where along these paths uh, I, I am. I'm going to try to build this path between paths, which I'm really trying to build a, a square. Um, and I can use H comp to find the top square of, of some of some cube. So I'll set this up uh, kind of a similar way as, uh, as before. Whoops. Ah, I keep, I keep moving to the wrong, to the wrong space here. There we go, almost. Okay. And uh, let's see, along the bottom here, I just want filler the, the filler square. So I'm, I'm imagining a cube and I just got to piece together um, some some parts of this uh, of this cube. So on the bottom of the cube, I'll, I'll just have filler again. Uh, and then here I'll give uh, the sides of, uh, of, of this cube. So maybe in a few uh, different cases here. I want, uh, oops, I'll do the same thing with J and, oops, there we go. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got uh, sort of a skeleton here. I'm trying to find the top H comp uh, to find the top of an incomplete cube. The bottom of my cube we filler. Uh, let's see, what do I want to put in the side? So this side, I'm going to put base looking at this picture. So this whole side is just the uh, is, is just constant base. So that's refl on that on that whole side. On, uh, on this side, I'll use uh, p.qi. Uh, okay, uh, looking at this picture, um, maybe this one is a little bit easier to think about. So on uh, the picture here, well, maybe this is easier to think about. So on the, on the picture here, I'll use t-i-k. It's not T S S I I K. So that's this um, that's this square that combines uh, P Q and uh, Refl. And let's see here. I guess it's a little bit worse. I'm going to use S reverse the direction of J K. Waiting for this thing to to think. Okay, and that that all types checks. So what I've done here is I've built, I've built a uh, a square on the top of this partial cube. Here's one side of this cube; it's just base. Here's another side of this cube; it's built out of that um, particular uh, square uh, that we built using the meat of uh, of the inputs. Uh, this side is again that that square that relates. Um, P, Q, and uh, REFL. And this face is, uh, is, is using the filler for, um, uh, or rather using uh, just sort of a constant thing built out of uh, the concatenation of P and Q along that, along that face. And then the bottom of this cube is filler, and that relates uh, P and uh, Q and P dot Q p composed with q and putting all this together then the top face gives me a path from refl to p composed with q which is exactly what you'd expect from uh the you know maybe point of view of the the homotopy story because if you compose a, a loop p and uh it's reversed loop uh that is in fact homotopic just to the constant path that just sits at the at the base point it's homotopic to refl and I think it's really cool, uh, you know, that we're able to express uh, this particular homotopy that we maybe normally would build um, using, uh, you know, equations, you know, in actual circles. Uh, but here with cubicle agda, you know, we're expressing this uh, entirely through uh, H comp and and H fill. So I hope this gives you maybe at least a taste of this sort of uh, synthetic homotopy theory uh, that's possible with a tool like cubicle agda.